Hi, this is Fernando Garcia with the Garcia team. And today's topic is, should you sell your home or rent it out? So before we get started, I'd like to bring your attention to two of our links, our home value link and our home search link. There are two reasons why people may want to keep their home. Either number one, because they cannot get what they wish or what they want to get. Or number two, because the property is cash flowing. Two things that you may want to consider before taking the house off the market and renting it out. Number one, do you really want to be a, a landlord? I mean, there are a lot of issues that come with being a landlord. <laughs> Ask me, I have personal experience in that. Now, the other reason is you might be able to get more money for your home than you think, or it might even sell quicker than you might think. So before you consider taking the house off the market, please consult with, a, with an agent like myself so we can give you a current market evaluation. Well, two potential good reasons of renting out your home would be, again, that it's cash flowing, and number two, that you have a future value at the home. The longer you keep it, chances are, the more it's gonna be worth. There are two reasons why you may not wanna rent out the property, as I mentioned before. Number one, there's a lot of tenants out there that live off of landlords that do not know what they're doing. In other words, they don't know how to run credit, they don't know how to choose the right tenant. And so these people go from home to home living pretty much rent free. They pay you maybe the first month, maybe some security deposit. And for the next six months, sometimes even a year, they're living in your home for free. They know how to play the system. That's the number one reason that most people don't want to deal with being a landlord. Number two reason, do you have enough time in your life with work, with family, with kids, with personal life, to still be able to manage and clean and maybe do some work every once in a while, potentially on a Sunday when you're resting, having a great time with your kids, phone call rings, plumbing is leaking, uh, faucet is uh, broken, light fixture is not working, that kind of stuff. So you have to be mentally and emotionally prepared to deal with kind of stuff like that. Bottom line is this, do you want to be a landlord or would you rather get top dollar for your home? And the only way of truly knowing this is by meeting with an agent like myself. So we're able to tell you what the current market value is, what you could potentially get for your home after expenses, and how long will it take to get this home sold. And then at that point, you can decide what's the best thing for you. So I'm Fernando Garcia with the Garcia team. If you like more information on selling or renting your home, please give us a call.